Hi, I'm Sam. Hey, I'm Jen. We're from Ballpark Music. You're watching the AU Review. Alright, well, <laughs> firstly, I think congratulations to the order. Number 18 in the hottest oh, 100 yeah. of last year. Thank you. It's pretty good. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> We're stoked. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's your highest ever, isn't it? It yes. is. For a lead single of a new album that is going to be out really soon, so hopefully that's a sign for things to come. I hope hopefully. so. <laughs> it's only a couple of days away, so yes. the release. What can we expect from it? Uh. <laughs> um, ten songs. <laughs> All of um, equal importance mm, and quality. Superior quality. <laughs> um, Oh look, I haven't really thought about how to summarise the, the record like s super quickly, um, but yeah, we've tried to make it short, sharp, focused. Um, yeah, we're excited about this one. Because at least from my listening, there are a lot of different influences going on. <laughs> there always um, have been. <laughs> the harder, harder rock and kind of dog, yep, and then yep, into yep. the auto tune of frame. So yeah. like, how did you battle all these different influences, or where have they all come from? Um, well, they come from all over the shop, and I think we've given up battling them. We just let <laughs> just everyone through the door. Now. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I want to believe that like we're getting better at like gelling it together. Like that we definitely have like an eclectic mix of influences. But yeah, I like thinking that there's some sort of cohesion. Um, it still but, sounds like ballpark. Yeah. I think. Well, in answer to your question too, I am a dog. It's like big Nirvana influence I always loved them since I was a kid but went back and listened to them heaps and that was kind of an influence I don't know that was like an influence to have a bit more power in the music and then uh, the auto-tune thing I guess that's like a Kanye West or whatever kind of influence which I like and my dad gets really upset about <laughs> yeah for me like that's actually the that notes I had I had a really nostalgic feel of like 90s early 2000s rock that you know yeah. used to hear like hear like, a lot for me as a kid so yeah that's really come through I think that's a huge influence for all of us that time and I am struggling to accept that that's like nearly 20 years ago basically <laughs> Because I feel like that's also showing um, a sort of evolution of ballpark music too. Like, I feel like we might not have heard that in some of the earlier albums, whereas now it's, um, like I said, all these range of influences. It's still making a cohesive product into the day, but it's showing this breadth of uh, what, what all of you are listening to or have listened to. Yeah, I think, yeah, and I think this record, I mean, we probably say this every time we release a record, but I really feel like this is the one where everything we've learned has like been channeled into one one spot and I think the previous record we really started to explore how much of a rock band we were like we sort of um, loosened the grip on how strict we were with how rocky we could be because previously we'd really seen ourselves as like this indie pop kind of thing um, so yeah we did definitely started to show our rock side a bit more in the last album but this one I feel like we were able to mix that with the kind of focused pop sort of thing of our earlier records yeah. and yeah we've become the band we're meant to be <laughs> <laughs> and so now this is your fifth album in six and a half years how are you keeping up that that's a pretty strong output level of output there yeah uh, it's financial pressures of the industry <laughs> <laughs> i think we just get bored if we don't <laughs> Gotta keep going. Yeah, it's never really felt like we're going faster than we are comfortable going. Yeah. Um, I think we all feel healthier and happier when we've got like shit to do and a bit of a routine. Um, I certainly feel like I struggle when we got nothing on. Like, yeah. just feel restless and bored, and um, I, I do bad choices. Yeah. As I said earlier. <laughs> do bad choices. For a musician, restless and bored is not a good place to be. And so how, how is the set list for this upcoming tour being made from now five uh, albums to choose from? That was hard. <laughs> yeah, and still not really finalised. Um, we have like a list of definitely play, a list of maybe play, and, but they're all too long and we haven't quite worked it out yet. But yeah, I think there's going to be a fair bit of arguing in the yeah. coming weeks. <laughs> I, uh, when you guys were playing at your Bohemian Rhapsody cover to the rounds, like... Can we expect any covers on this tour? Is, is there room for it in the set list? Oh, there's always room for a, a good party cover. Yeah. Um, we 
I haven't really talked about that to be honest. Mm. Like I'm totally open to doing it. Yeah. We genuinely haven't discussed it. No. And I. There I, is one song that we've done recently, uh, but I don't know whether. Although we record it. Yeah, I don't know whether that will become part of our set, but I guess we'll just see how that goes. Yeah. Um, there you go. There's a very <laughs> little hint. And how do you think no your album will translate to the stage? Good, actually. Yeah, I. Um, Fine. Jen's living here in Sydney, so she'll join us in Brisbane soon um, to get stuck into like full band rehearsals. But I actually went to the studio last night with just Daniel and Dean because we were just eager to like start nutting out some of our own parts. Um, and yeah, we felt really confident. Yeah. I haven't even had a chance to talk to you about this. <laughs> that but sounds great, Sam. Yeah, we were like, this is going to be good. Yeah, so yeah. we've already done exactly how you are in Perfect Life. And they're going pretty well. We've rehearsed a few of the others when we've got together for rehearsal and they seem yeah. to come quite easily and naturally. So I think they'll, they'll be really fun. There's a few that we absolutely can't wait to play. Yeah. Like I was saying, like there are so many influences on this new album. Have they, has any of the new sounds or even the electro or the synths or anything, has that been hard to bring to the rehearsals? Um, not hard, but like just, just have to yeah get creative and think of some yeah ways to incorporate those sounds i think we've always like um tried to push ourselves as hard as we can to feature like as many sounds that are on the record in the live show and we're really wanting at the moment to step up the live show again so yeah i've been really looking into getting um the production of the the music you know to an even higher level same with the general production of the show um so yeah it, it's been fun i'm actually mega pump for this tour because we're sort of trying a lot of new things yeah and how did the recording process of good mood uh was it similar to all your other albums was it, was it different in any way uh it was most similar to pudding head really that was the other album we recorded ourselves i felt like it's just we, a lot shorter yeah a lot shorter and a lot and like we knew what we were doing more pudding head was okay but it was like a learning curve sort of and i felt like we're basically doing the same thing uh, in a smaller space in a shorter amount of time and older better, and wiser yeah older <laughs> wiser and some better microphones yeah. <laughs> oh well yeah thanks guys you're welcome thank, thank you, you.